Hi, Bible Way family. Uh, God bless you. So good to see you, and I hope it's good for you to see me. Um, I just want to take a moment to update you on the things that God's been doing in our ministry and our church. And the focus of this update will be on the financial things God's allowed us to do in the past year. All right. There is another video coming of things that have transpired with respect to people's health and uh, various miracles in, pers in people's personal circumstances. But just want to deal with the things that have been happening at the church that are of a financial nature. Most of you know our situation and you know that it seems it's rather constrained. And without really being intimately aware of the things that are done, some of these things I'm going to list to you are things that could go unnoticed over the course of any week that you appear here at Bible Way. So in order for God to get the glory, in order for your faith to be lifted and to be strengthened, I felt impressed to share this with you so that you may realize that God is working on our behalf. Even though it may not appear that way to you, He is. So I have a list of 31 things here I'm going to go through. I'm going to try not to explain too much about the impact of these things. But I think in some cases it may be necessary, so you'll understand that it's, that these things are important. First of all, I'd like to mention that over the course of the past year, several hundred dollars was spent and given generously to the men of our church so that they could renovate our prayer room, known affectionately as the furnace room. As we say around here, if there's no fire in the prayer room, there's no fire in the worship room. Secondly, uh, we... Uh, we installed and we purchased uh, two brand new sump pumps for our basement, which habitually floods when we have a lot of rain and a lot of uh, winter or spring runoff. And uh, we were able to add two more pumps to that original set of two, for a total of four sump pumps added to our building so that we can avoid flooding and they have worked marvelously. I want to thank uh, the men who installed that and all the piping uh, and engineered it so that we could fit all those pumps into our catch basin. Thirdly, we purchased four brand new cordless mics. We purchased a rack mounted graphic equalizer. Uh, we also bought a rack mounted audio compressor. And uh, recently we just purchased a 3D effects processor for our rack as well. We've purchased two racks, one for the sound room and one for our power amps on stage. We've gone from live streaming with a particular provider to going free on YouTube. It has saved us some money and it's also improved the user experience for those who are watching at home. We've installed uh, a second audio mixer just to dedicate that to our live stream broadcast on YouTube. We purchased 18 quarter inch patch cables so that we could connect that second mixer to our Mackie soundboard so we could broadcast on YouTube. We also installed eight ceiling speakers throughout the building and we installed a switch box for those ceiling speakers so that we can control which rooms get sound. Um, this is the 14th item on the list. We upgraded our video projector. Number 15, we completed installation of our own drum cage. Uh, number 16, we installed new audio cables or what is called a snake. It allows us to uh, communicate with equipment on the stage, like our microphones, uh, with the mixers and the other equipment in our sound room. Um, this also allowed us to silence the radio signal that we were getting that was interfering with frequencies during our broadcasts and during our live uh, uh, services. Number 17, we restored it full audio recording capability for music and vocals. We were losing that as a result of that radio frequency interference, but now we can record, uh, like do, do studio recordings, right from our sound room, which was a capability we had at our previous location without any kind of interference. Number 18, we installed and purchased brand new speak on cables for our main speakers. Number 19, we eliminated the radio frequency interruption. I mentioned that already. Number 20, we installed new carpet on a new platform extension. That was just done minutes ago, actually. Uh, I think you're gonna love it. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, it allows the, the speaker in our ministry to be closer to the people and for the people to feel closer to him or her. 
It also allows the, the listener not to strain their neck looking upwards at the platform. It's a more comfortable experience and a more intimate one. So I want to thank the men for getting that done for us today. Um, number 21, we lowered the pulpit to the level of the platform extension. Number 22, we removed seating from the stage. So all of our ministers now sit on the floor and get to enjoy the worship experience without feeling like people are watching them or looking at them. So it's more comfortable. We purchased and installed new outdoor light bulbs for the building and the parking lot. We only have one more, rather we have three more light bulbs to install to complete the set. And uh, number 24, we installed uh, indoor and outdoor signs for Christian Learning Center. Uh, number 25, we created and purchased magnetic signs and business cards for the Christian Learning Center and Bible Way. Uh, number 26, we purchased a laser copy printer, laser color printer, excuse me, a laser color printer for a church. Uh, 27, we installed new Ethernet switch box uh, so that we could operate in the building to communicate with one another. Number 28, we installed new internet router and increased the bandwidth for a smoother experience for those who are going online. And uh, number 29, we purchased a brand new flat screen TV monitor for our church. Number 30, we repaired and purchased uh, the second ride-on motor for our property maintenance. And 31, we acquired two hand mowers uh, to help us in terms of our property maintenance as well. I, I realize I may have sounded a little long-winded here, or may have even rushed through the list, but I want you to know that God's working on our behalf. For the other things that we need, and we need, we need God's help for sure. Um, there are big ticket items that we need his help for. Why don't you pray based on what I just shared? If God can do this, and if he has already done it, why won't he do more for us? He's evidently on our side, working on our behalf, even in the midst of a number of challenges. Look at the extraordinary ways God has helped us. If I listed the costs of all of these things that were done. And if I told you of all the numbers related to the donations, you would really truly be in awe. But God has helped. And guess what? He's done it through you. He's blessed you to give so that we could in turn turn around those gifts and produce the kinds of things that we have done both in and out of our building. God bless you. Stay tuned for another update as I deal with some of the other kinds of miracles, other kinds of healings, that God has done for us over the course of the year, just so that your faith won't be sifted like wheat and your faith will be strong. God bless you. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.